In the past year, I've helped thousands of people land their dream job in AI. I myself pivoted from studying biology to AI engineering, eventually landing offers at companies like Amazon and Google, paying over $200,000 a year. In this video, I'll give you a four-week study plan to master the fundamentals of AI. We'll go week by week and cover everything you need. I have to be honest though, this four-week study plan cannot cover everything you need to know about AI, but it will give you the foundation understanding to learn everything else with ease. So pay close attention because weeks one and two are the most important of this entire plan. I still remember staring at my first AI tutorial and realizing I didn't even know how to print hello world in Python. But once I built a strong Python foundation, everything else became 10 times easier. In fact, thousands of my students struggled with AI at first until they mastered the fundamentals of Python. Here's what to do. Focus on writing code daily instead of just watching tutorials. I know it sounds obvious, but you'll be surprised as to how many people don't follow this advice because reading documents and watching tutorials isn't the same as actually getting your hands dirty and learning. And there's no need to master every detail of Python. Instead, focus on loops, conditional logic, basic data structures like dictionaries and lists, functions, and even basic file input output. When you're getting started, you can use Python to manipulate data, load in spreadsheets, compute averages, and even write results to a file. My recommendation is that you do four small Python projects this week. Here are some examples. First, you could build a GPA calculator. Second, you could read in a spreadsheet of stock prices and compute moving averages. Third, you could automate renaming files in all the folders on your computer. And lastly, you could scrape some simple data from the internet, like all the YouTube titles on my channel. The key when you're starting out is to not get sucked into any fancy frameworks or libraries. Just code with pure basic Python. And and simply aim for 30 to 60 minutes of consistent coding a day. Again, consistency is going to be marathons. The turning point for me was when I coded my first linear regression model from scratch. That part is very important. No external libraries. I finally felt like I understood all the math everyone was talking about. Again, I've seen students go from zero to confidently interviewing for basic positions just by building this project from scratch. Here's what to do. Focus on the elite engineer essentials. Linear regression, a simple statistical model, gradient descent, the algorithm for actually training AI models, and of course, neural networks, diagrams like this one. Build them with just NumPy or pure Python. No PyTorch or TensorFlow allowed yet. Plot your error function and see how tweaks to the model affect the accuracy. Here's my key tip for this week. Share your code publicly on GitHub, even messy versions, just to track your learning journey. When I fine-tuned my first model on custom data, things finally clicked. I wasn't just using AI anymore, I was actually building something with it. In fact, one of my students got an offer at an AI startup just by showing how they fine-tuned a model for product reviews. Here's what to do. First, pick an open source free LLM. Good options include the GPT-2 model from OpenAI, that's way older than GPT-4, but it will suffice for this project, or you could use the llama models from Meta. Next, either collect or generate a tiny data set, a few hundred customer reviews, song lyrics, medical Q&A, whatever you want, whatever's interesting to you. The actual fine tuning will be done with the Hugging Face Transformers library in a Google Colab notebook. Google Colab is a free online application where you can write and run Python code. Here's my key tip for this week. Pick a use case that actually interests you and would actually be valuable to customers. Don't just fine tune for the sake of it. And of course, document everything publicly. The data set you used, training strategies, everything you learned. 
This is where you'll start understanding what really powers modern AI. The moment I implemented a transformer from scratch was when I started to feel like a real AI engineer. In fact, hiring managers light up when they see candidates who have implemented transformers in PyTorch. This is because it signals true comprehensive understanding. Here's what to actually do. Go through the original 2017 research paper from Google titled Attention is All You Need. Don't worry about understanding every detail that might be difficult at first just focus on diagrams and any pseudocode again your goal is to just code a very minimal simple transformer in pytorch the goal is to understand the different components of the transformer and how they work together the main benefit here is becoming familiar with pytorch's custom layers this really cements your framework skills and my key tip for you here is that if you're new to ai and research papers do not hesitate to look at existing existing implementations, just don't copy the code. Instead, try to understand how it all connects together and what's going on under the hood. This was the cheat code that changed everything for me. I implemented a research paper from scratch, wrote up what I did, and suddenly I wasn't invisible anymore. I started getting interviews fast. In fact, many of my students skipped the referral grind and got real offers by focusing on this project. Here's what to do. First, pick a simple, recent AI paper, nothing GPT-4 level, that actually interests you. This could even be as simple as a text classification architecture. And re-implement it from scratch even if you're just adapting pieces together. But most importantly, create a blog post, a Medium article, a LinkedIn post explaining what you've built, a GitHub repo with a clean readme and some example outputs, and the cherry on top is a two-minute demo video or GIF. Package this up as part of your portfolio and connect with three to five engineers on LinkedIn asking for genuine feedback, not begging for referrals. This is the key. This is how you unlock the invisible hiring funnel. You don't need to spam cold applications. You don't need to awkwardly beg people for referrals. Instead, people come to you because you've demonstrated that you can build real AI. And if you'd like to shortcut this entire process and get guidance directly from me, check out our accelerator linked in the description. It's the fastest way to enter the invisible hiring funnel. Now, if you're looking for another video to watch, one where I break down AI research papers in more detail, check out this video. You don't want to miss it, and I'll see you soon.